here uh, for speak about big, big data lab applications using Pentaho combined by uh, with Killing, who is a tool uh, that enables big data lab uh, with interactive queries over billions of rows uh, with a second latency. So I'm here with uh, Emilio Arias, who is the CEO of Strategy, who is over there. And as I said, I work as a head of big data. So uh, I'm going to start. Um, at the beginning, uh, we want to enable big data lab application. And also, we would like to use Pentaho. So uh, we discover a tool, uh, the name is, is Killian, and um, we tried it, and really uh, good, uh, go really, really, really good. So we have tried it, we, we have developed a demo, and after that, uh, we have carried the first deployment, deployment in Spain of this tool combined with uh, Killian. So I'm going to show, to show uh, our demo, and our web of demos, and after that, I'm going to show a benchmark uh, where we compare Killing and other uh, big data technology that the name is uh, Vertical. So, this is uh, our web for demos. Uh, I'm going to show you, to, to show you uh, later, but uh, we have different demos and uh, we have one of these uh, where we integrated killing and uh, or all our visor. And also the technical things that I'm going to speak about it. So at the beginning, uh, what are all applications? As uh, our previous colleagues uh, tell, uh, there are applications that uh, need interactive uh, query latency. And also uh, sometimes we use uh, this kind this of application using technologies such as uh, Mobile that uh, allows multidimensional operation such as roll-up, slice and dice, um, and other different uh, operations over the data to resume the data and to show in dashboard, reporting, or um, data related all up views. So what is the problem? Sorry. The problem is the data. With various approach, uh, we develop uh, OLAP application using uh, our OLAP uh, systems that uh, are limited when we uh, when we go to very high uh, very high level uh, number of rows. When we have uh, um, up than um, 100 uh, 100 million rows in fat table, it's very difficult to uh, maintain the interactivity in queries. So this is the principal problem. Uh, moreover, we need to support, we need support for real-time OLAP. So this technology, uh, the technology that we uh, are going to choose, needs to be uh, a real-time technology or at least a near real-time technology. And what are the current approaches uh, regarding technology? Uh, the first one is killing, as I said, but also there is vertical, will be query, uh, recently read, and also uh, Amazon Resi, also very long. And why Apache killing? Because it's the, <coughs> it's the tool that offers a uh, second latency in query for uh, fat tables with more than 12 uh, billions of rows in fat table, and also millions of rows in dimension table. So some millions of rows in dimension tables. Supports for a standard query language and also uh, the integration for B tools. Of course, the integration with Pentaho, but not without the form. We have worked very hard to integrate with Mondera 3 and also it's possible to integrate with Mondera 4. Because our, our plugins that uh, work with Pentaho uh, use both Mondera 3 and Mondera 4. And also, there is an important thing that the, this tool uh, supports fully uh, complex schemas, standard snowflake schemas, because not all these kind of tools, big data lab tools, support this, such as read more uh, more intended to uh, real-time processing or real-time. 
but it's also supporting near real time, uh, also called microbats, and uh, in combination with Kafka. So uh, we can use Kafka with killing and also uh, combined with Pentaho to refresh and query uh, all of queues with uh, the, the data refreshing every two or three minutes. And uh, one very important thing that is the Apache killing is, uh, I think, the only uh, open source big data tool, big data tool or the, the, the most important big data tool. It's an Apache project. Uh, the name of creator is uh, Luca, and this was the one, uh, the, the first uh, open source project with relevance in China. And what is the architecture of this system? Uh, it's a system that the approach, the fundamental approach, is data pre-aggregation. So it's, it's a an uh, OLAP system, and it's based in a Hadoop cluster. So it uses uh, two components. The one is high, but nowadays is allowed with another databases uh, as a source, such as uh, Oracle or SQL Server, and even Vertical. And um, then used uh, MariaDB engine, and also more recently Spark engine, to clear the, the, the data and store in um, HBase. But HBase is transparent to the user. So when we have uh, the data in HBase, we can query using uh, standard query language, and we can also integrate uh, with Pentaho using Mondra or even uh, Pentaho metadata integration. And also is uh, full scalability, allows for full scalability, because uh, we can embrace uh, Hadoop Node to, to embrace the, the building uh, capabilities, but also we can deploy each base and kill in separate cl clusters. So uh, we have scalability at both uh, building time and query time. Then, uh, when we know killing, we know we have a very extensive experience in, in Pentaho. We can develop some clients uh, that works over Mondrian and Pentaho Metadata Editor. And uh, we think that this is a, uh, a real love history because we can combine the powerful of Kilim with the BI open source tool of Pentaho. So that's perfect to uh, enable Big Data Lab analytics. But what, uh, what I'm going to try with Big Data, enable dashboarding, reporting, and all of viewing over billions of row to trillions of row, fat tables, dimension tables, with the, um, with the typical OLAP operation. Um, and why? Because uh, Killing and Pentaho are leading open source tools in this sector. Um, I mean, uh, Pentaho is the, the one option for open source BI, and Killing is the best option for uh, Big Data Lab. So, together, uh, are doing a very good combination. Um, moreover, uh, it is possible the integration with Pentaho uh, using Modern 4, uh, as using existing uh, version of Modern called Lagunitas, and uh, we, uh, we can associate it with successful. But we have also tools that use uh, Modern 3, and uh, initially it is, is an allow it uh, to use with Killing, but uh, we, had, uh, we had have worked uh, very hard to integrate with uh, Modern and also with Pentaho Metadata Editor. Um, uh, what, are the, uh, what are the issues uh, we, we discovered? Well, uh, such as not ANSI, ANSI joins, uh, all style joins supported with Killing, so we have to uh, implement code for our join method. Uh, moreover, native uh, and non-empty cross joins were not supported uh, by Killing, so we have to uh, <coughs> disable these properties and define a Killing dialect with Imondrian. And also, we have another um, strange problem, problem that is the, the fat table had to be in the first place in the SQL clause that is generated because Killing and its support for Snowflake schemas 
after version 1.6. So we, we have to make a workaround because we have no time uh, during the project that we develop this, the, we solve these issues, and we uh, perform a workaround to uh, place first the, the fat table. Also, we used some existing references, so you can see in the presentation. And also, we have uh, we have integrated with Pentaho Metadata Editor because we have tools that use Pentaho Metadata Editor for reporting. In, in this case, uh, in this case, uh, was, uh, we have a similar problem. There is no dialect for for killing. We have to define a dialect, and we have to use. Um, Half dialect, half two dialect, and uh, surprise, surprisingly, it worked perfectly. So we have uh, enabled the integration using Pentaho Metadata Editor. Moreover, we have defined an interface to easily use, uh, to easily define uh, GDBC connections through uh, Pentaho Business Analytics Server. Because we, in, in, in the beginning, we use a generic connection. And after that, we define an interface to easy manage this connection with Killing. Uh, nowadays, there is a not defined interface in, in Ventaho 8.1. I don't know uh, if they will include in future versions, but uh, I really recommend uh, to include the connection with, that, with this, this tool. <coughs> Moreover, we have uh, implemented security at schema and data level, but it uh, was really hard because uh, killing, as is an all up um, approach, has limitation regarding roles and, um, roles and user tables, because cannot be defined in the same uh, all up queue, so we have to use another uh, source to use. No? Uh, so in Mondrian, uh, we have used uh, this bit, the dynamic schema processor, and uh, we, ha uh, we have implemented uh, overwriting uh, a typical DCP uh, class in order to replace some part of the XLML schema. And regarding the data editor, um, <coughs> we have uh, there are two limitations. One is the data editor requires roles and users to be defined in the in the same database and in the same schema. So we have to uh, override GDBC security SQL generator and also we have uh, defined an XML file to define um, several things about security. This is a, um, a one fresh approach, but uh, it can be improved but really allows us uh, to deploy this in production. So, what we have achieved uh, without this hard work? Well, uh, we have enabled Big Data Lab reporting, dashboarding, and uh, also OLAP viewing. And then we have uh, deployed the first uh, killing with Pentaho installation deployment in Spain. And, uh, is the time to, to show you our demo with our uh, STP bot Beaver, who is in the marketplace. And uh, this is the OLAP table. Sorry, it's not synchronized. Yeah, sorry. It's Okay, it's here. Yes, here is the subtable. And here are the technical details that I explained to you before. Uh, here is the all advisor. So you can see that there is a, a lot of functionality over Pentaho. And uh, we have data model, a basic killing details, and a full architecture. So we use the, the all advisor, it's limited to the, to the demo web page. But we have drag and drop uh, concept, dimension, and fat table, also defining new metrics, such as other all appliances, but we have a lot of functionality. Then uh, we are running an example about uh, an academic model who is stored in, in Killing, and it's about uh, 50, um, 
50,000 uh, rows, but uh, we have models, we have tried it with models with uh, 1,000 uh, million of rows with a second latency. So I have this uh, cube generated and we use that to support all our application over this model. So as you see, as you can see, it's really very, very fast. Uh, even, as you know, Mondia generates a lot of SQL code uh, under the, this application. Then, and how fast uh, is it? Yes, um, sorry, I close. Okay. Uh, we performed a benchmark uh, with, with the, that tool using Kirin and also using other tool that is uh, vertical. Uh, we have also integrated vertical with Kirin, with, uh, vertical with Ventajo, with very good results. And also we have uh, similar problems with Mondria, Ventajo Meta Editor, but less problems with Kirin. But this tool, vertical, it is an, an open source tool. Uh, also, it has a uh, free version that is not uh, for a lot of scenarios, rural scenarios, but uh, our benchmark, or benchmark tell us that it's not uh, as fast as killing. So we perform a benchmark, a standard benchmark, TPC8, uh, but uh, a variation for a star schema with a star schema uh, typical of data warehouses. And we compare also with um, PostgreSQL in order to compare with other renational database that is not big data database. So we have applied this. Uh, we have deployed two clusters for Killing and Vertica, but no one for Postgres because uh, we use a, a original Postgres, not this divider. And uh, we have tried, we have performed uh, three, three tests. The, the most aggressive is the third, uh, with uh, a thousand million rows. So, as you can see here, the results show that uh, killing are under under uh, one second in all less one uh, one of the queries. Uh, we we execute a lot of times every query, and vertical also uh, gets a very good result, but a little over uh, killing. So this is the, the chart comparing when we increase in the fat table, killing is under the second, on average under the second, and vertical increase when we increase the uh, fat table. Then the result, killing is the best performance, but it's a little more complex to deploy than vertical. It needs a Hadoop cluster, um, uh, but it's an open source tool that can be integrated with Pentaho. Vertica is also a very good tool, not as fast as Kirin, but it is not open source, but it is easy to deploy and it does not require a Hadoop cluster. And also Postgre is not recommended for big data model. Okay, uh, let me, one minute more. We have integrated, uh, we are also, we have experience with other integration with uh, Pentaho and big data. Um, or tools we have tried with, with other, a lot of um, Hadoop tools. So these are our plugins over Pentaho, uh, reporting, dashboarding, uh, all and then copy uh, balance the scorecards. And uh, we have chosen the tools that uh, we prefer to integrate, we have to integrate with uh, our plugins based in, in Pentaho. So, just the conclusions. Uh, um, both Killing and Vertica are very good tools for big data, and in combination with Ventajo, enable big data or app analytics. Uh, best performance is achieved by Killing, but it's uh, more complicated to deploy than Vertica. And um, Ventajo is a very useful tool to integrate uh, with big data. But uh, our experience shows that uh, the connectors are really hard to configure, uh, so the community uh, we have to work uh, a lot more to be easy to integrate uh, these technologies. And moreover, uh, we must, I think we must, define 
connectors for uh, killing and vertical as they will enable big data lab uh, with uh, our open source tools. So, I finished, yes. <laughs> Any questions? Uh, I want to ask about the uh, Mondrian 4, which is kind of abandoned by the branch right now, and uh, now the Mondrian 3 is renamed to Mondrian 8. Uh, so are you going to maintain both of them, or just switch primarily to the old Mondrian 3, as, as it seems that no work is done anymore on Mondrian 4? Yeah, yes, it's a good question. Uh, as I told you, uh, we did uh, to maintain compatibility with Killing uh, for both Mondrian 4 and Mondrian 3 because we have a lot of deployments that still continue uses Mondrian 3. I, I think only few customers are still using uh, Mondrian 4. So I don't know why, but it's a, a very good question because I think Mondrian 4 had a very good, has a very good features and also for Big Data Lab, uh, very clean code, more than uh, Mondrian 3, but uh, no, I don't know what the future of Mondrian 4. Okay. Uh,